If you are ever looking for reasonably priced, not cheap, just reasonably priced shotgun microphones, you most probably found those, the shotguns from the brand of Boya. And they are, well, cheap, or at least cheaper than the competition like Sennheiser or Rode. But the question is, are they good enough for everyday use? So to solve this problem, I bought one Boya BM6060 and let's make a review of it. First of all, let's begin of what you get in the box. And to be honest, you get quite a lot. Because first of all, you get the pouch for the microphone and all the accessories that came with it. You get the XLR to mini jack cable that simplifies the process of connecting this microphone to any camera you own. Then there is a windshield and the additional dead cut. Quite a nice universal shock absorbing mount and the microphone itself. BM6060 Boya Condenser Shotgun Microphone is around 28 centimeters long. In the front and on the sides you of course get the standard grill. In the back there is a standard XLR connector, one switch in the middle that allows you to turn the microphone off, on and on with additional low pass filter and what's kind of important this microphone can be powered from both phantom 48 volts through the XRL or with a single AA battery installed over here. So you just take the battery, put it inside, close the compartment and now if your setup does not have the phantom power, you can just have the microphone powered from the battery itself. Which, let's be honest, can be a useful thing. Foam windshield fits perfectly, the additional dead cat is super nice addition and if you ask me I really like the shock absorbing mount. It's super simple in design because those are just four o-rings in the shape of the cross here and there. You just put the microphone inside into it and voila! Simple, efficient, easy to repair and works just fine. The question that remains is Boya BM6060 a good microphone? And there's only one way to check it out. Let's make a sound test. Boya BM6060 is connected to the XLR interface which in this case is the Elgato Wave XLR. The gain is set to around 50%. The phantom power is on and I will be powering the Boya from the internal battery. More on that later. I have all the filters, noise suppression, equalizer and the compressor disabled. You will hear how the Boya BM6060 sounds with the completely flat, or at least as flat as it comes from the microphone characteristic. Bear in mind, I have rather low voice. So let's see how it picks it up. One, two, three, one, two, three, testing, testing. We are testing the Boya BM6060 microphone. No EQ, no compression, no noise reduction at all. This is how this microphone sounds like straight from the interface. One, two, three, one, two, three, testing, testing. Brown Fox jumped over the microphone. If you ask me, you can kind of feel that this microphone costs around third of the price of, for example, Rode NTG4. Maybe it's not tragic, but in this room it doesn't sound nice at all. Maybe it's the room, maybe it's my voice, but I do not really sound like that. Of course, you can add EQ and make the sound slightly better, but I was never really able to make this microphone sound as good or at least comparable to the more expensive competition. And of course, there are some problems. And the biggest problem I got was that there is something wrong with the phantom power on this microphone. I don't know if this is just damaged microphone I got, or maybe all are behaving in exactly the same way, but see what happens when I disable the built-in battery and enable the 48 volts phantom power. Same gains as before, I touched nothing. It's 
just this huge amount of white noise and extremely flat characteristic of the microphone. And by the way, it's not the cable, it's not the interface, because the other shotgun I own, the Rode NTG4, works perfectly fine on the Phantom Power from this XLR interface I'm using. Something is wrong. So the bottom line is that, well, you can hear and feel the difference between a microphone that costs below $100 and a microphone that is much, much, much more expensive, but still not yet really expensive. If you are just beginning and just want to have a directional shotgun mic, then maybe buying Boya is not that bad of the idea. I, however, always try to have my audio on at least good levels, and for me, unfortunately, the Boya BM6060 is not really on the quality level I would be expecting from one of my microphones. Might be okay for catching audio outside from your camera, but for my usage over here in this room, it's just not good enough. So yeah, it's cheap, but there's a reason. Here's the next video you should watch. In the meantime, I'm Paweł Spychalski, this is Paweł Makes YouTube. Thank you very much for watching and, like always, happy filming!